guys, how are you? Today I'm doing the Year You Math Grade 5 Module 2 Lesson 17 homework. So let's get started. Number one, estimate the quotient for the following problems. The first one is done for you. Alright, so A, we have 821 divided by 41. So they first round the quotients, or not, not the quotient, my bad, the divisor and the dividend to 800 divided by 40, and that gave them 20. So let's take a look at B. So first thing we should do is to round the divisor, which is 23, and 23 can round to 20. So then we look at our dividend, which is 617. And we want to round to a number close to 617 that can go easily into 20. So 617, 600 can go into 20. So 600 divided by 20, cross out the zeros. You have 60 divided by 2, which is 30. So 30 would be our answer. All right, and C, 31 divided by 39. First, we round 39 to 40. And 821 can round to 800, since 40 goes into 800. And we keep cross off the zeros, and 80 divided by 4, 8 divided by 4 is 2, and add the 0. So our answer would be 20. Alright, and D, 482 divided by 52, first round 52 to 50. And 482, um, let's see, we can just do 400. Um, 400, let's see, what's the close number? Oh, we should actually just round to 500. And 500 divided by 50, cross off the tens. 50 divided by five is just 10. All right, and E, 831 divided by 48. First round 48 rounds to 50. And 531 can go to, um, Let's see, 531 can just go, we can go to 550 and cross off the zeros. So 55 divided by five would be 11. So that would be our estimate. All right, F, 1 to 41 divided by 73, 73 rounds to 70. And let's see, 141, 140, 70 can go into that number. So that would be an easy number to divide by. Cross off the zeros. 14 divided by 7 is 2, so 2 is our estimate. Alright, and G, let's see. We have 476 divided by 81. 81 can round to 80. So what's a number close to 476 that goes easily into 8? Well, 480 can go and cross off the zeros. That leaves us with 48 divided by 8, which is 6. So our answer is 6. All right, and H, 645 divided by 69. 69 rounds to 70. So what number close to 645 rounds goes into 7? 7 goes into 2. Well, 7 goes into 63. So we round that to 630. Um, cross out the zeros. 7 goes 9 times into 6, 63. So our estimate would be 9. All right, and I, 99 can round to 100, and 599 can round to 600. Cross out the zero, six divided by one is six, so that's our estimate. J, 301 divided by 26. Let's see, 26, we can round to 30. 301, just 300. Cross off the zeros. 30 divided by 3 is 10, so 10 is our estimate. All right, let's see. K, 729 divided by 81. First round, 81. That rounds to 80. And 729, 720 is the number that 80 can go into. So we crossed off the zeros. 72 divided by 8, that's 9. So 9 is our answer. All right, and L. 636 divided by 25, 25 goes into 30, rounds to 30, and 636 can round to 600. Cross off the zeros, 60 divided by 3 is 20, so 20 is our estimate. 
All right, and let's see, M, 835 divided by 89, 89 rounds to 90. So let's see, 835, 810 is a number now you can go into. If we cross off the zeros, 81 divided by nine is nine. So that's our estimate. All right, and N, 345 divided by 72, 72 rounds to 70, 345, can round to 350, cross off the zeros, 35 divided by 7 is 5. So 5 is our estimate. Alright, O, 559 divided by 11. Let's see, 11 can round to, actually, we don't need to round 11. We can leave it as 11. And 559, we can round it to 550 because 11 can go into 55. 11, 55 divided by 11, that's just 5. That is your at the end. So our answer would be 50. That would be our estimate. Alright, next page. Number 2. Mrs. Johnson spent $611 buying lunch for 78 students. If all the lunches cost the same, about how much did she spend on each lunch? 611 divided by 78. Equals, oh, let's see, equals 78 can round to 80, and 611 can round to 640, since that's a number 80 can easily go into. Cross off the zeros, 64 divided by 8 is 8, so 8 is our estimate. So we can reply to the question, Mrs. Johnson spent about and we're saying about because we rounded that's not the real answer so about eight dollars on each lunch all right number three an oil well produces 172 gallons of oil every day a standard oil oil barrel holds 42 gallons of oil about how many barrels of oil will the well produce in one day. All right, so we have 172 divided by 42 equals 42 goes to 40. And 172, let's see, 16 can go into four, so we can round that number to 160. Cross off the zeros, 16 divided by four is four. So four is our estimate. So the well will produce about, because that's our estimate we're rounding, about four barrels of oil in one day. All right, and we explain our thinking with our rounding. So yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps out my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.